I swear my brain has the attention span of a goldfish. I sit down to focus, and two minutes later, boom, I'm watching a guy teaching his cat how to meow in French. It's a real problem. I always thought I just needed more discipline, more willpower, you know? But it turns out all I really needed was a pen, a piece of paper, and a little bit of frustration to get me there. After a long day at work, I'd come home with this grand plan to finally learn how to code. I'd change out of my work clothes, sit down at my desk, full of motivation. But my brain was like, nope, sorry. We already used all the smart energy at the office. We're closed for business. I'd open my laptop, determined to focus, promising myself this time would be different. And just five minutes later, I'm deep into a documentary about how snails sleep for up to three years. Seriously. Every single night, it was the same story. My motivation was strong, but my focus was completely non-existent. It felt like I was fighting a losing battle against myself. Then one evening, I just had enough. I decided I was going to outsmart my own brain. I cleaned my desk like I was about to perform some sacred ritual to summon success itself. Laptop open, coding app ready, I even set a five-minute timer on my phone. And then... I started to draw. Yeah, you heard that right draw, with an actual pen and paper. And let me tell you, I am terrible at it. My portraits of people look like potatoes with eyebrows. But as I was doodling, something weird and unexpected happened. My brain went quiet. For the first time all day, I wasn't overthinking. I wasn't scrolling. And I wasn't panicking about how unproductive I was. It was just me, the pen, and five minutes of genuine peace. When the timer went off, I didn't hesitate. I just jumped straight into coding, and I was in the zone for a solid 40 minutes. 40. Like, where did that come from? I got curious, so I did a little digging and learned there's actual science behind this. Drawing activates the creative right side of your brain. And that part essentially tells the scrolling addict part to just chill out for a minute. You're giving your brain a task that is low stress, hands-on, and focused. This simple action triggers a healthy dose of dopamine, but not the crazy, overwhelming kind you get from endlessly scrolling social media. So after just five minutes of drawing, your mind becomes calm, centered, and perfectly primed to dive into something more demanding, like coding, studying, or writing that big report. It's like giving your brain a gentle warm-up before a major mental workout. So now this has become my non-negotiable ritual. Step one, I clean my desk. I pretend I'm filming one of those aesthetic productivity ads. It just sets the mood. Step two, I open everything I need for my main task before I start the exercise. No distractions later. Step three, I draw. Anything. Doodles, stickmen, random squiggly lines. This is not art class, so there's no pressure. Step four, and this is the most important. When the timer rings, don't think, just start. No checking your phone, no watching one last reel. You just go. You will be absolutely shocked at how focused you suddenly become. I used to believe that focus was all about forcing myself to work harder, to just push through the mental fog. But I was wrong. It's actually about tricking my brain into cooperating, into working with me instead of against me. So if you ever find you can't concentrate, just try this. Set a timer for five minutes, grab a pen, and draw. Then jump straight into your task. Worst case scenario? You've created some questionable art that you can laugh at later. But the best case, you actually get things done and feel amazing about it. Either way, that's a win. Thanks for watching. I hope this little trick helps you as much as it helped me. If you enjoyed this, please give it a like and subscribe for more tips. See you in the next one.